So sometimes whenever we see the leaked skins, we're like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. And then when they come out, we're like, uh, this video is going to consist of all of those different skins that people were super hyped up about. But then when they came out, they were not very hyped up. On. So coming up on number one, this is probably the most hyped up skin. The Brilliant Striker. Now hear me out. So back when I used to play this game, whenever, I mean, I played this for a long time, you know, but this skin was actually leaked. This was like the first couple of skins that actually got leaked. Like whenever people started being able to leak stuff, this was actually coming to the, like the store. So there wasn't really an animated skin before this. I remember I talked about this in one of my other videos and you guys said there was a, like another skin that was kind of animated, like the Dark Vanguard or something. Like it's barely animated, like Dark Voyager, you said. I don't think that's animated. That's barely animated, you know? So look, this skin, everyone was like, oh my gosh, it's red animated. That's so sick. And they really liked it. And it seemed like everyone on social media, you would go on the Fortnite, like all those Fortnite fan page Instagrams, where they post about stuff oh are you gonna get this skin everyone's like yes i love this it's animated awesome and it came out and, and you know some people bought it i'm not saying nobody bought this you know what i'm saying but it it's not it did not live up to the hype i think it should have i mean i mean i think i should see a lot more people using these this this skin right here is so amazing i love how it's animated um but literally nobody else does i guess like if you just take a look it's super nice it's flowing it looks like water flowing kind of i guess you could say but this skin was just super overhyped. It came out. Everyone was like, uh, it's not as cool as I thought. I mean, I don't know why they think that because it's the same as what it looks like in the leaks. I mean, I guess the leaks were like pictures and not really videos of the skins, I guess. Because back then, nobody could like do what JH9 does and stuff and like import the skin into the game. But I feel like they loved this skin and the other one, the um, Radiant Striker, I think that's what it's called. They loved that one too so much and then all of a sudden they came out and they were like no so i don't know if this skin really should be on this list it is the tomato head now in my school i have like a like maybe like five super close friends and like three of them were like oh the tomato head's so sick i can't wait for it to come out so they were really really hyping it up right um it was my good friend logan and other people i'm not gonna say their names but like they were, you know, saying, oh, Tomato is the best skin ever. You know, they liked it so much. And other people are so, like, also saying, like, oh, this is so goofy. Because it was basically, like, the first goofy skin to ever really come out. So, like, the Beef Boss hadn't came out yet at this time. So, the Tomato Head was, like, this bunny skin is Tomato Town, you know, blah, blah, blah. But whenever the skin was not even out yet, people were super happy about it. And then it came out, and you, like do you see tomato heads i mean now maybe you know because of the whole freaking tomato head event like and then the tomato terror whatever i don't even know what it's called i haven't played in so long but like the whole tomato head event um and they brought it out again it hadn't came out in a long time actually you know the pizza pit set came back like maybe three days ago right but before that it was like a good two months you know so they didn't release this skin very often and so it's like basically the people who were real-time fans of it actually used it. So like Tim the Tatman, I know he uses it. I don't know why because in my opinion, I mean he has his opinions, you know. Everyone has their own opinions. But in my opinion, this is eh, you know. And to see everyone like not using it after what they were thinking of in the first place is pretty, pretty weird. Like this is going to be a common thing between all these skins. It's basically the title of the video, the Overhyped Skins. They basically were super super hyped and then they came out and you just don't see anyone using it i don't know why people like change their mind like i thought the tomato was decent and i still do you know same with like the vertex i thought it was decent and i still do like it's a cool skin but i i don't really change my mind on skins that much but with all these skins people just change their minds super super quickly so the next game we're going to talk about hits very deep to home okay you can see it right here <laughs> So if you guys didn't know already, um, when the Red Knight first came out back in, I think like December, maybe, maybe October. No, it was like this. No, it was November. I remember November, December, somewhere around there. This skin actually came out and it was the first um, 2000 V-Bucks skin you could purchase. So first, 
first legendary skin you could actually purchase. And I was like, dang, 20 bucks for a skin? You gotta be joking me. It was the counterpart to the Black Knight. So I was like, oh my gosh, Black Knight is so cool. I gotta get the Red Knight. I mean, I didn't end up getting the Black Knight because I sucked back then. And I, I didn't realize how cool the Black Knight was. I thought Black Knight was decent, but I thought Red Knight was so much better. And back then, I didn't really care about rarity. As you guys know now, I like to be unique. I don't like to use skins that other people like to use, you know? So, I'm not going to be using this a lot because they did bring it back. Talking about that, though, they brought it back, like, maybe five times. But that was in January and February when not a lot of people played, so not a lot of people did pick it up. Plus, they weren't trying to spend 2,000 V-Bucks. Like, most people back then didn't really spend 2,000 V-Bucks. That's why it was so rare. And then... Leading up to the release again, it hadn't came out for a good four months, maybe three, four months. And it was rare. Everyone was wanting it. Everyone was buying accounts for it, you know, trading accounts for it. They would sell their account and then get that money and then buy an account, you know, stuff like that. Um, Epic said, oh, we don't want people trading accounts. We don't want to do this. So they went ahead and dropped this in the shop. I think it was July or June 21st, June, July, August. June 21st, I think it was, because I remember I made a video, rest in peace, Red Knight, it was like January something to June 21st, and I, I, I kind of went over the top with that video, you know, I was super mad that, like, one of my favorite skins and one of my first best skins was actually going to be released back to the public, that is when, you know, I really did care about rarity, and I still do, as you guys know, but yeah, that just hit me hard, you know, that the whole skin was so hyped up, right when they posted on their Twitter, tomorrow, the Red Knight returns, I was so, so mad, and it was super hyped up, and people did buy it. You don't see too many Red Knights, though. To be honest, I think people just straight up got bored of that skin, so that's pretty weird, but it was super overhyped when they, you know, brought it out. I mean, not overhyped, because it is a cool skin, you know, so it's not overhyped, but it was just super, super hyped up when they released it, like, maybe the sixth time. The most recent time when they released it, it was just super, super hyped. So the next skin we're going to be coming at you guys with is another duo skin set and this skin kind of came with the emo i guess you could say i mean it didn't come with the emo directly but the emo pretty much correlates to it and it was the baller skins you know the jump shot and the triple threat it's part of the half court set so these skins came with one of my least favorite emotes we're gonna take a look at it right here I don't like the emote because it's very loud. I've said that in plenty of my videos. It is so loud. I don't like it. So these skins, people were like, oh my gosh. They have chains. They have tattoos. I don't think they came with backlinks. Um, it came with a cool glider and a cool pickaxe. I think I do have the pickaxe. Um, if I don't, I'm going to be surprised. Yeah, the slam dunk harvesting tool. So it's a freaking basketball hoop that's cool you know for a pickaxe eh, you know i like to have the small simple pickaxes but this is very over the top it's a cool thing just like tomato head cool and goofy same thing as a slam dunk harvesting tool but talking about the skins which is the main part of the video i don't know why i keep on drifting off to other things but the jump shot everyone was like oh my gosh lebron james ah! i was like uh it's not funny they said oh it's a girl uh, it's a girl basketball player, huh? <laughs> like, um, yeah, they were just so hyped for this. I remember Daquan. I don't like Daquan that much. Let me know. Do you guys like Daquan in the comments? I don't know why I don't really like him. I just don't. But he uses the triple threat, the girl version of this. I'm pretty sure he used that for a very long time. Um, I think he got bored of it or whatever. But yeah, these skins were planning to come out, and everyone was like, oh my gosh, basketball players. They thought like there was gonna have like a new like a whole new skin combination you know there's gonna be like different i mean this kind of started the wave actually that's what i was trying to say this kind of started the wave for other sport looking skins i'm pretty sure this was the first sports skin to come out followed by the football skins or the soccer skins i guess you could say um i don't know what other sports off the top of my head i mean you have alpine aces which those are like skiers I'm not going to count that as a sport, to be honest. I mean, these are technically the first ones if you want to count, like, skiing and stuff as a sport. But I'm talking about, like, American sports and stuff, like basketball, football, soccer, you know, stuff like that. I think the jump shot and the triple threat were the first ones to actually go ahead and have, like, a sport theme to them. And everyone was hyped about this because these skins aren't that bad. You know, they have, like, super nice kicks on. They got, like, they're just super basketball themed. And people really do enjoy basketball in the U.S. and pretty much everywhere around the world. So they did go ahead and think these skins were cool and then they came out and you saw a lot of them until like maybe three weeks later nobody was using these so um 
last but not least, probably actually instead of the brilliant striker, the most overrated skin or skins, I should say, you'll figure out why I'm saying skins. We're gonna take a look at every single okay, someone upstairs just like fell. I don't know if you guys heard that. We're gonna take a look at every I have like noise cancellation on my mic or whatever, but someone just like fell. Uh, I'm gonna keep on recording. Um, we're gonna be talking about every single battle pass skin ever known to man. Okay, hear me out right here. So, when battle pass is in effect, right? So let's look at the battle pass. Like Ragnarok right now, people are like, "Oh my gosh, I want to get that." You know, you you look at a uh, you know Sunstrider. Oh, that's so cool. You know, everyone's using these battle pass skins, and I know it's not because people really like them necessarily. I know it's because people buy the battle pass and don't really buy skins because they think battle pass is worth it and skins really aren't. Which technically, that's kind of true. You know what I mean? You get your money back from the battle pass plus a whole bunch of skins. You know, you get your money back with the V bucks plus you get a whole bunch of skins. So I guess. You know, that's why people only use Battle Pass skins. But hear me out. Back to the point. So, these Battle Pass skins, people always use them. You know, when the season is in effect, people use them. Right when Season 6 comes out. In 29 days, Season 6 is going to come out. And you will not see one Sunstrider. You will not see... You will not see a Sledgehammer, dude. I did not even know the name of that. I'm such a bad player. You won't see a Rook at all. You know, you won't see a Ragnarok. People tend to gravitate to the new battle pass super quickly. Even if they like a skin, like I like the Sunstrider. Don't get me wrong, I love this skin so much. It's super cool, super bright, and it's it's a lifeguard. Like, what can you like about that? It's just super cool. It's got a good concept and everything like that. But basically, whenever the new season comes out, they're like, no, I'm out. I remember the Rust Lord was so used. Same with John Wick. Everyone was on those skins, and then season four came out, and they said, ooh, you know, like they. They weren't, like, tied to these skins. They were tied to the season, you know? People will stick with skins that are in the Battle Pass. Like, they'll be like, ooh, Mission Specialist goes crazy. And then Season 4 comes, and they're like, oh, my gosh, Carbide, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Even though they might like Rust Lord more than Carbide, they're like, oh, my gosh, it's new. So I can't blame them there because it's a new skin, you know? They have to use it. I mean, why wouldn't you want to use something new? than something old that's what i like to do i mean i love the clinical crosser right um not you get out of here i love the clinical crosser but when new skins come out i like to use them like the mullet marauder just came out pretty recently i like to rock that a couple times just because it's new it's fresh you know but people gravitate so quick to the next battle pass it is so funny these are the most overhyped skins in the game right here battle pass skins in general maybe not the black knight because that is so amazing for a battle pass skin that is the best ever but people use them for this season right when it's the next season they're like peace you know what i'm saying that is all for this video i hope you guys did enjoy this this was skins that were super severely extraordinarily extravagantly overhyped <laughs> in fortnite if you guys did enjoy this make sure you go ahead and check out my other cosmetic videos where we sit down and just talk about stuff and go ahead leave me a like and if you're new to my channel and you watch all the way to the end do yourself a favor go ahead and subscribe i post videos like these every single day people say they're super entertaining to watch if you think they're entertaining to watch why not just hit that subscribe button turn on the post notification bell just go ahead and do it but thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys later i'll see you guys in the item shop video peace out